Today I'm going to show you a really cute homecoming hairstyle. I really like this when I'm in a rush and I want to look formal and I want to look neat. But you can wear this for a date, you can do this for a prom, homecoming, formals, weddings, all sorts of different kinds of events. It's really cute. I've seen a lot of girls do it. I think it's a really big style right now. It's really a nice way to show off your strapless dress or just kind of have a really nice updo. So enough chit chat, let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to brush your hair. So it doesn't matter, like your hair could be up in a ponytail all day. Just kind of brush it so it's smooth underneath. I'm using a brush that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I really like this one. It was like eight bucks or something. Like it. Anyway, so first thing is you're going to take a nice healthy piece of hair here and you're going to use this to cover up that piece, this fluff ball that you're going to make underneath. So you're going to divide that and hold that away from your face. And the really nice thing about this look is that you don't need to bump it. I got some questions about bump it and I don't think I have enough hair for it. And since I could do this style on my own, I've just never had to buy it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this brush and we're going to brush our hair. And also, if you have trouble kind of getting this twist together, I recommend curling the ends before you do it, and then that will make your life much simpler. All right, so you're going to pull this up into a high ponytail. You're going to smooth it out underneath. And you're going to tie it in the middle. Make sure it's tight. It looks like that. Cute little ponytail. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to tease your hair. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your wrap tail comb, you can take your boar brush, you could take whatever you use to tease your hair. So this is how it's going to get big. So if you don't like teasing your hair, then you're probably going to just have to skip this whole hairstyle. So you're going to take it and you're going to roll it. Just like that. And you're going to bobby pin it inside. Okay, now that you have this little poofy thing right here, you're going to take your hair and you're going to cover it. And this may not look big, but when you put this hair on top, it's really going to get it sky high. So I'm going to take this little part right here and I want to tease this at the ends really a little just so that it fills up and it's full enough to cover over this bump here. First thing is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cover it and pull it down and then kind of fan it around and then I'm going to secure that in the back. Comb, give a little bit of a lift. Okay, you're going to take this side here and you're going to Kind of wrap it around, not too tight because you don't want it to be like that, but you just kind of want it to overlap this and gently curve to the side. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So you kind of gotta be coordinated. See if it's too tight, it kind of looks funny, but if you put a headband on, it's not too bad. So I like to kind of just curve it around. And then in the back, I like to do a little twist. And then you can even curl it, that's why I'm saying if you curl it, it'll be cute. Let's do a little design in the back. Then you're going to take your hair and you're just going to comb it and you're going to fix it. And then you're going to take any of the loose pieces of your hair on the side. You're going to bobby pin where you need to. So I have this little loose piece right here because my hair is shorter right there. And if you don't like the, all the bobby pins in the back, what you can do is you could just put like a really pretty clip back there or something that will conceal it. So you can see there's like a a clump right there, so you can put like a feather or something like that. And that's it! All you have to do is just kind of make sure everything is secure, hairspray it down because I know that sometimes when you're dancing it's going to get all over the place, so make sure you feel that it's really secure in there. And then you just finish it off with a headband or flowers or whatever you'd like. Kind of work on the size, you know, how much you want to wrap it, just depending on how big you want it. 
And that's it. It's really simple once you get the hang of it. You're ready for homecoming. Have fun and be safe. Thanks again for joining me at PurseBest.com. Bye. <laughs>